Hello everyone, I hope you are having a great day. Welcome back to this channel. If you want to see more of these tips and tricks like this one right now, uh, please subscribe to my channel, hit the button, uh, the bell button below in the video description or next to it. So if you're like me, you are facing this horrible uh, behavior from logic and uh, multi jimble instruments you know I'm an avid uh, contact and atmosphere user myself and uh, you know how annoying it is. Uh, I will uh, show you the phenomenon first of all. Uh, let's check here. Um, so I would like to create a multi MIDI instrument here in order to uh, write several MIDI track with the same instance of Omnisphere and you will see what happens. Here are the multi and uh, I'm going to create eight, seven other channels. And uh, here's what happens. Look at the... Look at the fader. Actually, they're all linked to the same fader. So if you touch the volume fader at this point, the entire instance, including all eight channels, will go down and you will have to automate the pan and volume for for all those things but you know like me in Omnisphere you have to enable host automation of all those things one by one and it's kind of it's going to be a very tedious task and this is exactly what you want to avoid so I'm going to show you a cool thing that I saw myself and um, I just want to share it with you let's delete everything here go back from scratch stereo output let's select Omnisphere but this time in multi output and here we are let's first configure Omnisphere for once multi out A B C D and so on and so on and so on just takes a minute here. You see the MIDI channels are, uh, uh, are already uh, incremental so we won't touch them anymore. The second thing to do is go back into the mixer into Logic and add of course seven multi output channels here and you have eight channels in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, well, which is 16 mono here, but eight stereo channels. I'm gonna put the right VCA in the right group here. That's for my template. Now let's name, let's label that correctly. So since I'm this year, and it's very important that you add a number here because Logic is a very intelligent app and it's gonna add the number incrementally look at this boom adds two three four five two eight perfect now the only thing you need to do is right click on this selection and create a track well it's gonna create seven other tracks and look at this you have now eight different faders for your logic uh, for your Omnisphere instance into Logic. And now you can just make a track stack of this, summing stack, name it since Omnisphere, boom. And here you are. And you have effectively eight different faders and panners, and you can even add your own plugins. And you you can really record and play uh, playback MIDI in this situation, and it works. The only thing you cannot do is add MIDI MIDI effects on the on all the other channels, just the the, the first the first one. But that's not a biggie. Um, so that's it, and that's as simple as that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and. Uh, 
yeah if you did please hit the subscribe button like uh, eventually add comments uh, just uh, curious about how you deal with multi timbral instruments into logic myself thanks all for watching once again have a nice day bye